Idol's notorious diets and eating habits, shared openly with fans, have raised concerns about how they're influencing their audience. But these idols persist in promoting dangerous weight loss tips, leading recent viral K-pop diets that have gained attention due to their extreme nature. At the beginning of May 2023, Luna member Yeoljin alarmed fans when she shared a tip for how to lose weight, which was dangerous for her to follow as well as other people. On May 2nd, Yeoljin held a Q&A session on her Instagram account so fans could have the chance to interact with her. A fan went on to ask her about a weight loss tip and Yeoljin's response was not eating. The picture was attached to a picture of a weighing scale that showed her weight, which was an unhealthy 34.2 kilograms. Despite opposing opinions, some believed it was better for Yeoljin to honestly share her weight, even if sharing or posting about it could cause harm. These netizens said that if she lied about how she lost weight, then it would cause fans to think, why can't I look like her? A commenter said, not answering is only going to keep deluding fans that they don't have good genetics, unlike the celebrities who just happen to be naturally skinny. Others said that telling her young, impressionable audience to starve so they can stay skinny is a bad move and very dangerous, no matter how you look at it. A fan was appalled at the answer, saying that they couldn't believe that not only was Yeojin telling someone not to eat, but she had also posted a picture of a scale, making it seem like she was bragging about it. While the fans sympathized with her and how she was forced to diet in unhealthy ways, they still said that it's extremely disappointing that she would perpetuate harmful eating habits and contribute to the toxic diet culture. Thankfully, Yeojin publicly acknowledged that her dieting approach and sharing tips may be harmful. She admitted to not realizing the extent of her influence on young people and advised everyone to prioritize eating well and embracing growth. Recognizing her mistake, Yeojin expressed her intention to initiate a get healthy endeavor. Before Yeojin, her former bandmate Tsu also shared that she was struggling with unhealthy eating habits. On an episode of Dr. O's Golden Clinic, Chu said that she had been admitted to a hospital in the past because of her unhealthy eating habits. She said, I eat until I can't breathe anymore. When I am stressed out, I do this. I eat until I throw up. I've been to the emergency room because my body stiffed up. Back then, Chu kept denying that she had problems with her eating, but recently, she said that it was getting much better. On a March 23rd video on Cosmopolitan Magazine's YouTube channel, she said that she has recently started loving salad. She shared, I used to starve myself to lose weight. I hated salad and couldn't eat it during my diet in the past, but now there's a salad restaurant that I love and I've been adding more vegetables to my diet. It's heartwarming to see that they're doing better, but it's also terrible to witness just how much Blockberry Creative and other agencies mess their artists up to the point that they see starving as something normal. Espa's Karina also shared her weight loss tips, but it's safe to say that netizens couldn't quite believe that what she was saying was true. She appeared on Lee Yongji's show, No Prepare, where the two discussed various topics, including weight loss. Kadina revealed that even though she eats a lot, she is very strict at maintaining her weight. She went on to say that even though she sometimes can eat a whole container of Pringles and even ate a whole pizza by herself, she manages to lose the weight that she gained by exercising. She said, I wear a padded jacket, I wear a tight t-shirt, I wear a swimsuit and run for four hours. I listen to idol music. I run and dance. I run while saying, you demean you're so cool and run around. Yeongji tried to clarify that Karina wasn't just pretending to eat, but she was actually eating a lot, so it seemed like she eats a lot but can't gain weight properly. Karina denied Yongji's words, saying that she does gain weight easily but loses it just as easily, claiming that she has gained four kilograms and lost four kilograms in a day. But even though Karina didn't outright tell people to starve themselves, her way of losing weight is extremely unhealthy, so people were criticizing her for oversharing this tip in the first place as it might influence others to do the same and ruin their health. The comments who were denouncing Kadena wrote, that isn't physically possible. If she's talking about fluid loss, that's going to be so dangerous and isn't going to stay off either. I hope no one tries to copy her. While it is better to advise people to exercise, it's still bad to give them tips like this and also give them the idea that they can gain and lose that much weight in a day. Espa's Giselle also shared her diet and it was bad. According to Giselle herself, she takes a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach and then she has five almonds and five five cherry tomatoes. Because of her lack of breakfast, you'd think that she would have a more nutritious lunch, but that's not the case here. For lunch, she has a delicate tofu caprese salad, which isn't quite as extravagant or appetizing as it sounds, as all it has is slices of tomato and soft tofu. Last but not least, for dinner, she has natto gimbap, a vegan version of the traditional Japanese dish made from whole soybeans. Add to that the fact that the ESPA members recently revealed that they sleep for a total of four to five hours when they're promoting their comebacks, and you have a recipe for disaster and putting your well-being in danger. It was especially disheartening considering that the suggestion for her meals came from her trainer who had recently been praised for wanting to pursue a healthier lifestyle beyond mere weight loss. Not only is it worrying that she can
consume side dishes and snacks as complete meals, but when considering her high activity level, regular exercise, and inadequate sleep, we have every right to be concerned for her health. It's also sad that she, along with many idols, view this as normal and believes it to be a healthy lifestyle. Brave Girls member Yu Jung also spoke out about how she had to basically starve when her group got attention all of a sudden. She appeared on KBS 2's I'm Hungry, where she said that she had given up on herself completely before Roland blew up. However, it all changed when they got popular overnight. She confessed that she had seen people calling the members pig girls and piglets, which led Yu Jung to going on a diet. She starved herself completely, but she also almost lost her life because of it. Yu Jung said that she woke up covered in blood one day due to the fact that she had scratched herself all night because of an allergic reaction brought about by a decline in her immunity system. They sent her to the hospital where she was told that she was going to end up losing her life if she caught a cold because of how weak her immune system had become due to not eating. Thankfully, she's taking better care of herself now and this horrible episode of her life is far behind her. Gongwon Sonia's Mia didn't promote any unhealthy diets, but she did talk about how her company basically forced their artists to starve themselves and even report their weight to the management staff. Gongwon Sonia made headlines at the beginning of the year when it was revealed that the company had mistreated the members. After the group won the lawsuit to terminate their contracts, one of the members, Mia, has spoken up about the way the wave music treated her and her fellow members, especially the strict diets that they were forced to maintain. In an interview with the Asahi Shimbu newspaper, she said that every time she came back from school, she had to start practicing and have vocal lessons. She also said, Also, every time I went to practice, I weighed myself in front of my manager. I had to report my diet, like, I'll eat bananas and boiled eggs, or I'll only eat one apple. I felt like I was going crazy. Mia also revealed that the Gongwon Sonia members got closer together because they had steal the food from the staff during video shoots. Mia went on, Usually at that age, we'd be talking about boys, but we always talked about food. The only fun was sneaking out of the dorm and going to the convenience store. 21 member Puck Bo made an appearance on an episode of On and Off where she shared how she was living on Gonghua Island and how she lost 11 kilograms. Boom said that she moved to the island so she could work on her album and also start her diet. She explained that she starts her day at 6 a.m., emphasizing that it's important to stick to a diet plan and eat on time. On the food that she eats as part of the diet, Boom said that she would have five rice balls paired with lettuce and German turnip for breakfast, surprising the panelists who asked her if she got hungry since that seemed like too little food to eat for a meal. Boom replied, it's very filling once you get used to it. Though it did seem like she missed eating desserts and snacks. She said that she visited a cafe as she was taking a walk and it became so bad that she couldn't take her eyes off the pastry. She said, I didn't have any bread for six months. I can't hold back. This made her buy a piece of pastry and eat it quickly before her manager arrived. While not the most dangerous diet featured on this list, it is concerning to witness the normalization of idols consuming very few amounts of foods to maintain their image, even when they're already in excellent physical condition. What are your thoughts on this? Share them with us in the comments down below. Bye!